A smart guy mocks a poor and stupid schoolgirl, as she cannot confess her love without making a few spelling mistakes. Due to a natural cataclysm, the girl moves into the schoolboy's house, and they begin to live together. In the center of the plot of the series is a young and attractive girl named Honey. Resting in the garden, she notices a snow-white horse and follows it, but at some point the animal turns into a handsome guy. Honey approaches him in the hope of a brush, when suddenly she wakes up and realizes that she fell asleep on a bench near the school. Hearing the bell for the lesson, the girl hurriedly goes to school, and after the lesson spends time with her friends. One of the girls notices that Hani is suspiciously sad and asks why. Hani tells her about herself, from which it becomes clear that the young man who is turned into a man from a snow-white horse is Sung Jo, the most handsome and popular guy in school, who studies with excellent grades and is always surrounded by girls who are in love with him. During her drawing lesson, her friend suggests to Hani that she should not be afraid and confess her feelings to the guy. This conversation is heard by the main beauty of the school and decides to mock the modest and a little naive classmate. The girl claims that Hani is a loser and has no chance of pleasing Sung Jo. Hani gets sad, but a guy she has a crush on shows up in class, which gives the girl a smile again. Sung Jo has arrived to pose during the drawing class and help the students paint his portrait. The girl doesn't miss the opportunity to touch the guy and painstakingly draws him, paying attention to every detail. The guy stands in one place for too long, so his legs start to hurt, and his friends help Sung Jo to come to his senses. At the same time, a beautiful girl, who is also in love with Sung Jo, thinks the girl's picture is ugly and tries to spoil her mood. After school, Hani hurries to the restaurant to help her father who works there. It is this job that helps the girl to support herself and her school expenses. At some point, the girl decides to consult her father, but she is afraid of being too sincere. She reports that her friend has fallen in love with a schoolboy, but she does not know how to inform him about it. After a little thought, her father argues that the best way to confess her love is to write a letter, as this method is very romantic. After thanking her father, Hani hurries home and writes a letter telling Sun Jo how she feels. The next morning, the boy finds the letter in his locker and reads its contents. Hani sincerely waits for a reply but Sung Jo walks past her and ignores the girl as if he didn't notice her. A while later, Hani is handed the letter, but the pretty girl takes it away to read it in front of the whole school. As it turns out, the guy did not write a response, but criticized the girl, checking the text like a teacher. He made several corrections of spelling mistakes and gave the girl an unsatisfactory grade, considering her stupid. Having learned about this, all the schoolchildren laugh at the girl. Hani's best friend finds out about the conflict and wants to fight with Sung Jo because of his rudeness towards the girl. The vice principal stops the verbal altercation and asks Sung Jo to stay away from the best student, otherwise he will be in big trouble. The vice principal wants to know the reasons for the conflict, and Sung Jo tells him what happened, then turns to the girl. He calls her a loser who is impossible to think about, much less love. Taking this to heart, Hani cries bitterly while the others continue to banter with her. Upon returning home, the girl helps her father to sort out her things as they have recently moved into the house. Among the things, the man finds a picture that was once painted by the girl's mother and they reminisce about it. Soon the girl is visited by school friends and John, who want to support her in a difficult moment. The father is pleased with the guests because John and the girl seem to him very good, kind and responsive. The man invites his daughter's classmate to dinner, as suddenly an earthquake begins. The housemates run outside, seeing that the house begins to collapse. Not wanting to say goodbye to the only memory of his late wife, Hani's father rushes into the house as suddenly it finally collapses. The girl is shocked and believes that she has been left an orphan, but soon her father comes out with a painting in his hands. He calms the crying Hani and informs her that he will not leave this world until he sees his daughter happy and successful. Starting the next morning, John decides to help his friend and starts collecting donations to rebuild her destroyed house. Sung Jo also decides to donate a couple bills, but Hani sees this and asks the guy not to give the money since she doesn't need anything from him. She rudely tells Sung Jo that he's too arrogant because of his intelligence and thinks everyone should love him, but that's not true. At one point, she proposes a bet whereby the guy will publicly apologize if Hani passes the exam and gets a high grade. In the evening, 
The father and daughter go to the father's best friend's house as their house is destroyed and they have nowhere to live. Abu Ahya and his wife warmly welcome the guests and offer them a place to stay in their house for the near future. The woman notices that the girl has heavy bags and calls her son to help her get settled. Soon it is revealed that Seung Jo is the son of his father's friends and they will now live in the same house. The girl is shocked by this news and the parents are happy that their children attend the same school. A little later, Seung Jo's mother takes the girl to a spare pink-colored room. Hani doesn't understand why there is such a strange renovation here and the woman explains that they prepared this room for their future daughter. So far, the family has only one son, so the room is empty and Hani can live here. The woman would like to call the girl her daughter and Hani is very touched by these words and thanks Sung Jo's mother for her support. The guy visits Hani and asks her not to tell anyone that they are now living in the same house. The girl blackmails the guy and claims that she will tell about it since he treats her badly. In the morning during breakfast, Sung Jo's mother offers to drive him and Hani to school, but the guy is against it and leaves on his own, claiming that he has other things to do. The girl also doesn't want to be given a ride by the guy's mother, so she runs off after him. Soon the couple meets on the street, and Sung Jo asks the girl to stay away from him and not to come near him during class so that no one will suspect that they are living together. After class, John, like a true friend, decides to walk Hani home. The girl is afraid to say exactly where she lives, so she deceives the guy and runs out of the subway car at the first stop. In the evening, Seung Jo's mother worries that the girl is late since it's dark outside and Hani still isn't home. Not wanting to discuss it, the guy goes out to the porch of the house to wait for Hani and make sure she's okay. At the same time, the girl leisurely returns home and meets a strange man on the way. Frightened by the crazy stranger in a coat who wants to undress in front of her, Hani screams and calls for help. At that moment, Seung Jo appears behind her and defends the girl and beats up the psychopath then helps the girl back home. She thanks him for saving her, and in the evening makes a promise to herself to do everything she can to make Sung Jo fall in love with her. Determined to work on herself, the girl begins to study diligently and read a lot. In the evening, Sung Jo's mother visits the girl to treat her to dinner and decides to talk to her. The mother decides to tell Hani about her son and shows her a childhood collection of his photos. The woman admits that her son is smart and arrogant, but it is only because he is afraid to show feelings and get attached to people. The next morning, the girl decides to mock Seung Jo and shows him a funny childhood photo, promising to show it to the students at school. He was a silly and innocent child, but Seung Jo doesn't want anyone to know about it and attacks the girl. Hani agrees not to show the photo to anyone, but only on the condition that the smart kid will help study better and he agrees to her terms. Soon Seung Jo starts to help the girl with her homework and in time the teachers notice improvements in her grades and also praise Hani's hard work. Her friends also notice her tiredness and ask her if she's okay, but she doesn't want to talk about it and her sacrifices to be close to Sung Jo. A few days later, the guy suggests Hani take a test to better prepare for the exam. Continuing to study hard, the couple falls asleep on their books before Sung Jo's mother brings them dinner. Believing that the boy and girl might make a good couple, the woman decides not to disturb them and retires to the kitchen. A few days later, exam day comes and the girl is very nervous, afraid of getting a bad grade. Soon the results are announced and Sung Jo is shocked as Hani has become one of the best students among 50 high school students. A little later, the girl thanks the guy for his help, once again passing the exam better than anyone else in the school. Keeping her promise, Hani returns a funny photo of Sung Jo then goes to class and sees that everyone in the class gets annoyed at her appearance. A little later, the girl plays soccer with the other students, but Sung Jo calls her and asks her not to stay late to better prepare for tomorrow's lessons. In the evening, the girl informs her parents that she and Sung Jo will be playing on different teams, so loved ones can come and support one of them. The next morning, the competition begins, but Hani can't concentrate. She constantly admires the guy's beauty in play, causing her team to lose. Sung Jo's mother takes some pictures of her son and notices Hani's behavior, realizing that she is in love with the guy. The losing team accuses Hani of playing badly, but their conversation is interrupted by Sung Jo's mother, who decides to treat the schoolchildren to pizza. In the evening, 
The woman decides to please Hani and gives her a picture of Hani and Sung Jo. Noticing that the girl is asleep, the woman leaves the picture on an open book. The next morning, Hani, unsuspecting, opens the book and the photograph falls out. Noticing the picture, the girl's friends and other students are shocked, believing that Hani and Sung Jo are secretly dating. Someone at school takes a picture of it on their phone and sends it to the other students, causing everyone to find out about their relationship. Upon seeing the picture, Sung Jo gets angry at the girl and her friends. Tired of being questioned by her friends, Hani decides to tell the truth and reveals that she and her father have moved into her friend's house since their place was destroyed. Joe's son turns out to be the son of his father's friends, so he helps her with her studies and lives in the same house with her. Her friends support Hani and say that she should fall in love with the guy, as they now see each other 24 hours a day. Embarrassed by all this, the girl asks her friends to go home, but instead they go to the fence and look at Sung Joe's house. The boyfriend's mother notices the guests and invites them into the house, making the situation more awkward. Back at home, Sung Jo sees the girl in the company of her friends and rudely reminds her that this is not her house and she shouldn't bring her friends here. Sung Jo's mother doesn't allow her son to talk to Hani like that because this is her home and she decides who she wants to invite to her house, so he has no right to be rude to her. Sung Jo's mother also tells her son that she was the one who put the picture in the book, but she didn't mean to do anything wrong. The girlfriends feel awkward and rush to leave the stranger's house but the boyfriend's mother stops them and suggests they go to the beach. Everything is paid for, so they should get their things ready and arrive in time to spend the weekend together. A couple days later, Hani, Sung Jo's mother, and the girl's friends are going on a trip together. Sung Jo sees this and expresses his displeasure, but his mother isn't ready to listen to his excuses and declares that instead of going to school, the guy will go with them. Shortly before his departure, his friends come to Sung Jo's house and decide to keep him company and go to the beach with them. During the trip, it becomes known that the school beauty overheard the conversation of Hani's friends and found out about everything in advance, so she came to Sung Jo's house on purpose. Sung Jo's mother tries to get acquainted with her son's classmates and notices that the hottie is overly arrogant. Meanwhile, John feels cheated and betrayed because all his friends are traveling and he must sit in school and listen to the boring stories of teachers. He is genuinely upset that no one warned him about the trip to the sea, so he does not want to study. It turns out that the reason is not only that John was not called, but also his poor financial situation. The guy has no money at all, so he feels embarrassed in front of other people. After counting the change in his pocket, John tearfully asks his teacher to lend him some money. As it turned out, the guy has a sick aunt and he has to buy her medicine, but he forgot his wallet at home and will not be able to go to the pharmacy. The teacher sympathizes with the guy and gives him not only money but also his moped so that he could buy the medicine and hurry home to his aunt. On the way to the sea, Sung Jo's mother notices that the pretty girl and Hani are in conflict with each other. The woman, using her wisdom, easily resolves the conflict as she feels sympathy for Hani and doesn't mind her becoming her son's girlfriend. Meanwhile, John rushes on a moped to the sea because he brazenly cheated the teacher and he does not have a sick aunt in need of medicine. At some point the moped breaks down and the guy assumes that there is no gasoline in it. Unable to think of anything better, he decides to check the contents of the gas tank by lighting it with a lighter, resulting in an explosion. Upon arrival at the beach, the friends enjoy the sea and take a few photos together. At some point, Hani's friends notice that Sung Jo's younger brother is drowning and needs help. The girl does not know how to swim, but rushes to the boy and tries to save him. Seeing what is happening, Sung Jo goes to help, pulling both Hani and his younger brother to shore. At night, the school hottie teases the girl about the fact that she still can't swim at that age. Hani believes that it is better not to be able to, but to try for someone else's good than to be a bad person and hurt others. John, a survivor of the explosion, makes it to the beach and talks about what happened to him. After a few days off, the guys return home and begin studying for new exams. Realizing that there is nothing her friends can do to help me, Hani asks Sung Jo to solve difficult questions on some topics. The guy is too smart and fully prepared, so he easily answers all the questions, leaving notes in the girl's book. A couple of days later, a school hottie notices this and decides to test Hani's mental abilities making her to answer the questions without peeking in the book. 
she threatens to tell the principal about everything and accuse the girl of trying to cheat, but Hani manages to answer the question without hints. After taking a walk outside, Sung Jo and his younger brother return home, meeting a lot of students in the living room. As it turns out, Hani confesses that Seung Jo has been helping her with her studies and now they all want him to prepare them for the exam. The mother convinces her son to agree and he must become a tutor for his class. The next morning, Seung Jo's mother and younger brother leave, leaving Hani as the head of the house. The girl decides to cook dinner, but the food burns, causing a real mess in the kitchen. Seeing this, Seung Jo asks the girl not to touch anything and wait for him to cook dinner. After dinner, the girl tries to study but can't find the right book. She goes to Sung Jo's bedroom to ask for help, but he chases her away, thinking it inappropriate for Hani to be in his bedroom. Back at her place, the girl is sad as she realizes that she loves Sung Jo and he still treats her a bit rude and cruel. The next morning, the high school students are nervous and waiting for their grades, realizing that this will determine their future and help them get into universities. Hani is very nervous and realizes that she is unsure of her grades, so she seeks help from the teacher to change universities. The teacher inflates the student's grades to ensure a better future and is willing to help Hani by adding a few points to her overall grade. At some point, the woman notices a pen in the girl's hands for people making donations and learns that the school drill donates to the needy every week. Some time later, a hurricane approaches the city and people are advised not to go outside. Hani is not frightened by these difficulties because she needs to get to the interview at the university. She manages to get to the meeting with the committee, but they ask her difficult questions, which she cannot answer. Apologizing, she is about to leave, but at the last moment she stops and makes a touching speech, after which they decide to enroll her in a prestigious university. In the evening, the families gather to celebrate the event. The parents ask Sung Jo where he has decided to enroll and the boy declares that he has no intention of attending university. He's not interested in continuing his studies and instead wants to find a job so he can start earning money and become independent soon. These words upset the guy's parents because they want a better future for him so that he can move up the career ladder and achieve more. And a little later, Hani asks to open the door to talk to her, but he ignores her. Despite this, the girl tries to explain to the guy that his parents are proud of him and want the best for their son, so he should change his mind and go to the last exam to go to university, even if not this year, but at least next year. Realizing that the girl is right, Seung Jo opens the door and agrees to her terms. A couple of days later, the day of the long-awaited exam comes, and the girl is very nervous, dreaming of entering the desired university. She misses John very much, but soon Hani meets a friend and learns that he works as a cook in the university canteen and even managed to enter the educational institution. Some time later, she meets a hottie and the hottie informs her that she wants to make Sung Jo fall in love with her. Hani gets very upset as she can't get the guy's attention and decides to leave his house. Soon Sung Jo tells his parents that he wants to live alone and they respect his opinion, having learned that his son has rented a separate apartment. Hani overhears this conversation and is upset, realizing that he will never be able to see Sung Jo again. After a while, Sung Jo leaves her parents' house and Hani goes to university. She is very sad about her breakup with Sung Jo, so she doesn't play with her friends and spends time alone. Her coach decides to cheer her up and tells her that he saw her at a cafe near the university, assuming that Sung Jo works there. After hearing this, Hani and her coach go to the cafe and meet the guy working there as a waiter. Sung Jo tries to stay away from the girl, but she notices that the cafe needs an employee and decides to get a job to be closer to the guy. A little later, she decides to meet with the manager to become a waitress and learns that the position has been taken by a high school hottie who is also trying to win Sung Jo over. When she returns home, Hani becomes depressed but decides to pursue her boyfriend and not give up, no matter how hard it is for her. The girl starts visiting cafes and one evening, she notices that the guy is leaving with a pretty girl. Watching them, Hani assumes that they are in love and live together, so she gets very upset. A while later, it turns out that the hottie is the daughter of the cafe owner who asked Sung Jo to tutor his daughter to get her into university. Having met the guy, Hani tries to find out if he has decided to go to university to start his studies. He answers nothing and wishes the girl good luck, 
but soon changes his decision and informs his parents that he will enter medical college and become a doctor. The boy's father becomes ill, as a result of which he ends up in the hospital. Sung Jo must take over the reins of his father's company and meets with the workers, trying to motivate them to succeed. The company develops games, and Sung Jo decides to create a new product that will conquer the market and become the most popular among apps. Hani supports the guy in a difficult period for him and takes care of his younger brother. She can't cook, but she cooks dinner to please Sung Jo and show her care for him. Some time later, the guy meets a businessman influential to South Korea who is willing to invest in his company. In a personal dialogue, the businessman is convinced that Sung Jo is very smart and has a bright future ahead of him, so he is ready for a large financial investment. A couple of days later, the businessman offers to double the investment amount on the condition that the guy marries his granddaughter and Sung Jo must agree as he wants the best for his father's company. The next night, Sung Jo announces his decision, claiming that his bride-to-be is a very smart girl and suits him in the role of wife. Hani asks the guy if he really loves this girl, and he affirms in the affirmative, which breaks the heart of the enamored Hani. Going to a restaurant, Hani meets John and realizes that she likes her best friend. Realizing that Seung Jo is marrying someone else, Hani decides to give John a chance and declares that she is ready for a relationship with him. Seung Jo's mother is against his marriage as she knows that her son loves Hani and will be happy with her. The father asks his wife not to interfere in his son's choice as he is an adult and is able to understand what he needs. John and Hani have dinner at a restaurant, after which the guy tries to brush the girl. She pushes him away and confesses that she still loves Sung Jo but wants to forget about him. Running outside into the rain, the girl meets Sung Jo waiting for her here for a private conversation. Afraid to tell the truth, Sung Jo confesses to Hani that he loves her and wants to be with her. In the evening, the couple returns home and announce their decision to get married to their parents. The next morning, the guy meets the businessman's granddaughter and informs her that he can't be with her because he loves another girl. A little later, he informs the businessman, hoping that his decision will not affect their deal in any way. The businessman promises to remain an investor in the company and thanks Sung Jo for his honesty and intelligence, promising to keep personal and business separate. A short while later, the guy presents a new game, instantly gaining recognition and becoming one of the most popular apps in Korea. After pleasing his father, Sung Jo decides to enter medical university and become a doctor, which pleases his mother. Soon the family agrees on a wedding date and begins preparations for the festive event. Having visited the grave of loved ones, the couple prepares for the wedding. Soon the very day arrives and the couple welcomes guests, among whom is the granddaughter of the businessman. She apologizes for getting involved in the relationship and does not want to interfere with the happiness of the couple. John also shows up at the wedding and decides to talk to Sung Jo. He warns the guy that he won't let Hani get hurt and will take care of the girl if their marriage doesn't work out. After performing the wedding, Sung Jo and Hani go on their honeymoon. Upon returning home, Sung Jo prepares for the entrance exam and soon goes for an interview. Later, it is revealed that Sung Jo did not formalize the marriage, fearing that it would affect his admission to the university. The deadline for registering the marriage has passed and the court can't help, much to Hani's dismay. It turns out that Sung Jo didn't do it for himself, but for Hani so that she could study and fulfill her dream. The next morning, Hani goes to her father's work and sees a car accident. The ambulance is late, so she decides to help the unfortunate girl and does everything she was taught, resulting in saving the life of the victim. A little later, the doctor thanks her for saving the girl's life, but complications arose, causing her to fall into eternal sleep. The doctor convinces Hani that she could not have been helped, but the girl takes the situation to heart. A little later, she tells Sun Jo about it and needs his support. Despite what happened, the guy tells Hani that he is proud of her and loves her more than life. He believes that sooner or later she will succeed and become a good doctor, and Sun Jo will do everything to help her do it.